Hello, my name is Mike Estella. I'm an applications engineer with Photron, and today I'm going to be talking about synchronizing cameras in POV4. To synchronize a Photron camera, it is important to be aware of the inputs and outputs on your camera and how to program them. The Mini and Nova series of cameras have their inputs and outputs located on the back of the camera, pictured here. The SA series and MH6 cameras have an I.O. pigtail that connects into the camera. Here's an example of what that looks like. These IOs can be programmed inside the POV4 software in the IO menu, which is pictured here. Please note the IO menu may look slightly different depending on which type of camera you're using. All right, let's get into a live example. Here we have an SAZ and a Nova S20 connected in the POV4 software. The first thing to highlight is the IO menu. This is where you can program your outputs and inputs. Now I can drop down this camera selection here and when I have multiple cameras selected, they'll all be listed here. So I'm going to select the Nova S20. On my Nova, you'll notice it has input and output 1 and 2, which match the BNC connectors on the rear of the camera. You can drop these down and program the signals that they're sending and receiving. If I were to change to my SAZ, it looks similar, but again, it will match the IO pigtail that connects into the rear of the camera. And this, again, is where you can program those signals for the SAZ. All right. So in this demonstration, I'm going to configure the Nova as the master camera and the SAZ as the slave camera. The first thing to ensure is our BNC connections. We can open up the POV4 synchronization assistance tool, which is located under the assistance tab. Now, when I open this tool up, there will be a helpful diagram pictured for reference. Now. In this drop-down menu here, I can select which camera I want as my master. And for this example, we want our Nova as our master. And I can select up here if I want to sync via a chain connection between cameras, or if I'd like to sync to an external sync signal from a function generator or another device. And if I select that, you'll see the diagram over here changes uh, to give you um, connections for um, syncing to that external device. But for this example, we're going to sync via chain connection. So I have my sync signal going from my master camera, which is the Nova, going out of output one to the sync in BNC connection on the IO pigtail for my SAZ. And if I have an external trigger that I'm using to trigger the cameras, then I want to make sure those connections are proper. And once all of that is done, I can go ahead and set. When I click this, I'll hit yes. We verified our connections and it will automatically synchronize the cameras. All right, so the sync setup is complete, and we can exit. And here you'll see our SAZ, which is the image on the right, has synchronized to the frame rate of our Nova, 16,500 frames per second, and you can tell it's synchronized by this e-sync right here. Now that you know how to synchronize two Photron cameras together, let's talk briefly about synchronizing a single Photron camera to an external device or another camera. If I only have one camera connected, the sync assistance tool will not show up in POV. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of my SAZ here. And now I just have my Nova and you'll see the sync assistance tool no longer appears under the assistance tab. Um, I can still synchronize my camera to an external device or another manufacturer's camera using the I.O. menu. This process is mostly the same. So I'll open up my I.O. menu here and look for the external sync. And when I drop this down, I'll notice two options, on cam and on others. On cam is used for syncing with Photron cameras, and on others is used for syncing with other devices and manufacturer's cameras. For this demonstration, I have my Nova hooked up to a function generator that's operating at 10 kilohertz. When I select on others, you'll see the Nova will synchronize to that frequency, display e-sync, and operate at 10 kilohertz. And that was a short demonstration of how to synchronize your cameras to another Photron camera or to an external device in the POV4 software. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you and have a great day.